Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to make a bucket server. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the link below and it will pull you up to a page that looks like this. Uh, go down all the way to download craft bucket 1.1, you get the rest of that, and you're going to want to download it. Go into your downloads or if you have Google Chrome, just show them folder, which is easier. Copy it, and then you're going to want to make a new folder. And just place it in there by itself. But just rename it back to the, whatever its normal name was. Or if it, you got it already with the normal name. Okay, now that you've done that, you're going to want to make a uh, start a new notepad and once you start the new notepad you're going to want to type uh, at echo off and then on the next line uh, you need to go into your computer and go to uh, C drive or whatever your drive is and uh, find your Java folder. Mine's right here, which is under Program Files, Java, uh, and I have GRE, JRE7. Then go under here, and then go under bin, and wherever it says Java, just click over here, and left click over there, and then copy this. And once you copy it, you're going to want to go to back to here and paste whatever you had right there and then slash java dot exe then close it and then minus xms 1024 m and minus xmx 1024 again this gives you one gigabyte of RAM to run this server. If your computer has a uh, larger RAM, then you can change it to whatever you like. And then minus jar, and then type in craft bucket. And if we go back here, and then it's minus 1.1 .1 minus R3. So we're going to type that again. Remember, uppercase do count. And then the next thing is uh, just type the dot jar. And then below that, type, type pause. And then file save as, and save it in the new folder you just made, which mine is number four, and save it as start dot bat so now when you start it it should work if you did it correctly and it'll most likely look like this and it'll make all the new stuff but can't do that yet because it's not going to work completely so what you're going to want to do don't copy what I'm doing right now what you're going to want to do is um, go to command prompt and type in IP config. Now what you're going to want to do from here go all the way up to the top and it should have your IPv4 address. You're going to want to copy that right there. okay? And then go back here and uh, your default uh, password for your router is most likely 192.168.1.1 into that and then go to port forwarding and triggering and uh, when you get here there should be new you're going to add custom service type 255.64.255.64 I mean 65 
and then type in whatever your IPv4 was. So that would be 192.168.1.47. And then you're going to click apply, but I've already made one. And then you're going to close that. Now, oh, I didn't mean to close the browser. You're going to want to go to IP Chicken. And once you get here, you're going to copy down whatever the blue pass, um, blue IP is right here. And then you get that to your friends so they can get on the server. Then once you do that, just start it by double clicking on the start and it'll load your whole thing. It will take a little while for your world to load. So just let it load. Sorry guys. Okay, let's play it already loaded completely. It'll say done then you give that IP to your friends and they click on the ad server and blah 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 to get in now sometimes they won't be able to reach your server what you're gonna have to do is go back to CMD IP config again find your IPv4 and copy that again and then go back to 192.168.11 and a lot of times that I uh, that IPv4 will be different so you're going to have to copy that again it'll probably be different like let's say it'll be 192.168.1.48 you're gonna have to click on this then edit service and change that to whatever it was mine was 7 and then hit apply and done and just restart it and it should work so thanks guys for watching this tutorial and if you liked it and you'd like more stuff how to do this please subscribe and like and comment thanks